City of Spokane gave us a look at the potential plans for that zip line today and a new plaza too. Crab 2's Amanda Rowley shares how both fit in the city's goal to give you new ways to enjoy the river. The city of Spokane wants to create new access to the Spokane River. One of the ways it might do that is with a zip line that would fly you right over the Roaring Rapids. There's a ton of steps in between now and, and if it were to come to, to fruition, um, one of them being engineering. So we need to understand whether or not it would actually work, uh, whether the tank would support it, whether that kind of torque off of a line uh, over an extended period of time would actually work. But it, it's something that works for So while the city is still a ways from making the zip line attraction a reality, here's a look at its tentative route. It would start at a plaza overlooking the river next to the library, travel under the first small arch of the Monroe Street Bridge, and land in Glover Park. Some of you asked if the zip line would replace the sky ride, and the city says it's going to stay put. But the zip line is only one idea in the city's overall river access plan. Once construction on the sewer overflow prevention tank is complete, the city wants to build a plaza overlooking the river. A place for people to kind of meet up and gather and sit and have a cup of coffee. While the plaza would serve as the starting point for the zip line, it would also become the trailhead of a three-mile loop. Coddington says the trail would start at the plaza, head down to Glover Park, through Peaceful Valley, and on to Peoples Park. Then continue the loop by crossing the Sandifer Memorial Bridge and head on up to Kendall Yards. That would give people really good access, good vantage point, nice exercise loop if you wanted to, to use it as a running trail or a, a walking trail. Coddington says the CSO 26 tank is expected to be completed in 2019. Then the city will revisit plans for the plaza. Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.